Over and over, here you have the New Testament writers uh, pointing towards the sanctuary and saying that earthly sanctuary, that earthly tabernacle, that was just a, a sort of a, a, a soft, misty, vague image of what the true heavenly tabernacle is going to be like. And now listen, here's John 16 verse 13 that says, How be it when He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into, there's that word, all truth. How be it when He, the Spirit of truth, that's the Holy Spirit, is come, He will guide you into all truth. Uh, do you remember I mentioned just now? that uh, all the churches, all of those different denominations and the thousands of other options that you have, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Catholics, the Baptists, the whoever, Methodists, Lutherans, all of them, all of them are preaching about Christ. And we know Jesus is the way, the truth and the, the life. Brothers and sisters, how many of them are preaching all truth? This is the question. How do I know if my experience that I'm experiencing is all truth? How will I know whether an angel of light comes to me if it's Satan as an angel of light or if it's Gabriel as an angel of light? How will I know? Brothers and sisters, if you don't have the same filter or the same template, if you're using your experiences and your feelings, you might just be deceived. That's why it says in John 16, when the Spirit of truth is come, He will guide you into all truth. That means there's going to be a movement into all truth, brothers and sisters. You see a type, remember? A type is cast on the shadows of the Old Testament. The anti-type is found in the New Testament. Well, that's what this everlasting gospel is about, brothers and sisters. God's temple of truth. The everlasting gospel the sanctuary of Jesus Christ, unifying the Old Testament with the New Testament. Taking something as far back as Genesis, can it be? Well, in the next presentation, we're going to be looking at Israel in the wilderness. Two presentations, two very short presentations. Israel in the wilderness and patriarchs in the sanctuary. Those two brothers and sisters, we, we, uh, we, I've, I've made them short that they can be uh, transmitted together. But those we'll be looking, is it possible that the everlasting gospel is somehow, do we see Adam and Eve in the sanctuary? Do we see Abraham in the sanctuary? What about the Christian today? Do we see the walk of a Christian in the sanctuary? Well, if Jesus is the Ioinos Evangelion, the perpetual good news. I hope and I pray that you believe that God doesn't change like he says in his word because that means that what the truths that Moses had are the same truths that we have today. Please come back and share with us how we look at Israel in the sanctuary of God. Thank you.